Hey, how are you? I'm hoping you are doing well and that this message finds you in a place of love. I would like to start out by thanking you for deciding to embark on this cleanse with me and to take the time to view this video. You may know who I am, if you do. Hey. If you don't, my name is Aisha, and I am pleased to share this with you. With that being said, I am sharing this with you. I have sent this video to a number of individuals, and if you have received this, I ask that you use it in a more private manner, meaning that you use it for personal use or you can share with someone that you may know who could benefit from it, but I ask that you don't share it publicly as this will not be um, posted publicly, okay? With that being said, let's go ahead and clear some energies out. I'm feeling like I gotta clear some of these energies again. This is like the third time I done saged, but I don't know if you can ever have too much sage. You may, but not me. I, I just, it's only a little bit, you know, everything in moderation, right? So just lighting the sage to help clear um, any energies, any adverse, not necessarily negative energies, but anything that's counterintuitive and just invite a sense of wellness and peace and cohesiveness, all right? Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and do a bit of a prayer just to, again, set our intentions. And we pray that the message delivered here today will be received in the light and the love of the one most high. And that whomever may need it, it will find its way to them. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, jumping right into our video, I'll go ahead and start out with an overview of the contents of the video. We're basically going over two things. The first thing is the cleanse. What is the cleanse? What is it about? How um, are, we, are we doing that? And the second thing is uh, beginning to talk about breath work and we're going to do some breath work practices uh, for, for both beginner and non-beginners. Okay, so this cleanse, what is it? It is a way to cleanse ourselves spiritually, physically, and mentally. Um, the first part of this cleanse beginning from now until about the 12th and 13th of September where the focus is to cleanse ourselves spiritually and then you think about what does that mean and it really just means bringing awareness to ourselves our existence our higher selves and allowing ways to have any negative energies or blockages cleared from our spiritual selves and our energetic selves. So this time will be used for cleansing ourselves spiritually and I'll get into maybe some ways, other ways that we can do that besides breath work. But the other topic of the video is breath work and a way to use that um, in a spiritually cleansing way. Okay, uh, some other things that you may get into practicing as um, part of your spiritual cleanse, uh, daily practices of um, maybe some form of yoga or Tai Chi um, or just some stretching, some sort of um, body-mind awareness, and then also some prayer and meditation, uh, whatever that may mean for you, okay? Because prayer meditation means different things to different people, but essentially it's the same thing, um, just you know bringing awareness to oneself acknowledging um your higher power and what have you um so that being part of the spiritual cleanse the physical cleanse will comprise of um whatever it is for you where you will cleanse yourself physically for me personally i will be doing a water fast or a water cleanse where for seven days i will be drinking water and water only 
um, and then doing some prayer and meditation as a form of nourishment because mm, 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 the right kind of water and the right kind of meditation serves as nourishment. Mm, mm, mm. It does. It really does. Um, so, yeah, so that for me will be that. And for you, if you would like to, you know, try vegan or cutting out certain foods from your diet that no longer serves you and you've been feeling inclined to do that, um, I would suggest starting then um, at the physical portion of, of the cleanse, which will be from one week before the full moon. The full moon is on the 20th of September. So from the 20th on back till about the 13th, um, that, that's a week. And for me, that's when I'll be doing the physical portion of the cleanse right now up until the 13th will be the spiritual portion of the cleanse. And then after the full moon will be the mental part of the cleanse. Okay. So we go over the, um, spiritual portion, which is from now until about the 13th. And then from the 13th until the 20th would be the physical cleanse. And then from the 20th until um, essentially the end of the month or the next full moon. But it really could go on and be just if you make it a part of your daily habit, it won't it will no longer be a cleanse, but just a part of your your daily life and ritual. OK, um, so again, we have the physical, the spiritual portion, which consists of spiritual cleansing using um, yoga, meditation, Tai Chi, what have you. And then you have the physical portion, which is whatever it is that you would like to omit from your physical diet or uh, physical being in order to allow your um, physical and spiritual self to regenerate. And then on to the mental, mental portion. Uh, feel free to start your physical part of the cleanse now. Um, if you was like, well, I've been cut this out or I don't I, I want to do my physical cleanse now or whatever. Um, it's cool. You know, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Although I just mean personally, I, I'm choosing to focus on the spiritual portion first because it just allows or facilitates um, a clearer cleanse or clear intentions for the other parts of the cleanse. So when our, our spiritual bodies and our energetic bodies are aligned, it definitely leads way to being able to do um, and be more successful in other areas. Okay. Um, Cause it all starts here. It all starts here. Okay. Um, with that being said, I, that's the overview, the, the two things that we're going over. So I just explained the cleanse to you and what that is. Now we're going to go into the breath work. And what is breath work? Breath work is the use of the breath and the energy associated with the breath in order to um, heal our energetic bodies and our energetic centers. So when I say breath, I don't just mean the air that we use to breathe. So the physical, not physical, because it's all physical in a sense, but um, the, the actual composition of the air that fills up our lungs. So there's air that fills up our lungs, but there's an energy that's present with that um, air that can be redirected in other areas of the body, okay? So what I'll be going over with you today is how to start um, getting into your breath work and how to redirect the breath, okay? So the first way we're going to go ahead and go about um, the first way we're going to go about um, getting into our breath work is we're just going to take a few breaths. And we're just going to bring awareness to those breaths. So we're just going to sit and you can take about three or four breaths and just notice your breaths. Just, you know, you want to start to pay attention to are they shallow? Are they long? Are they, um, can you, you know, take a full deep breath in? Are you breathing in through your nose? Are you breathing through your mouth? Just taking notice to your breath and what it's doing. Not anything other than that, just 
paying attention and bringing awareness um, to your breath. And when you're bringing awareness, that's also considered um, bringing your consciousness into your breath. And that could be a topic for another video uh, if you know you so choose. But um, bring just we're just going to call it bringing awareness. So we're just going to sit and uh, take a few breaths. And close your eyes. I will close my eyes. It's easier for me that way. But just notice your breaths. Uh, so here we go. Okay, so that is just a start. Um, did you notice anything? Did your did your breath seem calm? Are they um, are they shallow? Are they rapid? Um, just your normal breaths. Not even trying to think about taking any deep breaths or anything like that. Um, those for me were just my normal breaths. You know, I wasn't trying to inhale more or exhale more or anything like that. I was breathing in through my nose and out through my nose because that's what you do regularly, right? All right. So next step, we are going to pay attention to where you feel your breath going, okay? So I don't want to, you know, say too much, but just try and see if you can feel where your breath goes after it goes through your nose. So you can usually feel it go in through your nose when you take a, a deep breath in it. You feel the air brush past your nasal passage, but try and keep your awareness on your breath and see where it goes after that. What is the path that it travels? Now you could probably know based off of anatomy exactly where it goes, which is great, you know, for sure. If you know where it's supposed to go, then it'd be easier for you to figure out or feel where it is going. Okay, so let's take a few more breaths and see if you can feel where your breath is going, okay? breath see if you can see if you can feel where your breath is going okay yeah those feel great um so most people um if you were able to feel it um you should feel the air enter through your nostrils and then it will come down and it feels like it's in your throat area or your trachea and then it'll travel down and it'll fill into your lungs and if you are um, good at or aware of diaphragmatic breathing you'll also feel it in just below your ribs above your belly button in that area in your in your um abdomen well that's not your lower abdomen your upper abdomen okay um and that's called diaphragmatic breathing if you feel the air going there and your belly rises when you breathe then you're breathing with your diaphragm which is great okay um what we're going to do now is so if you felt where your the breath is going you can feel it going in through your nose down into your lungs into your belly that's great when we talk about directing the breath um, what you're able to do is as you're breathing in you can actually send your breath into other areas of your body now the breath again I do mean the energy that is associated with the breath not the actual air 
itself okay so what you feel when um it gets to these other areas is not the the air itself it's the energy okay um that's why they say breath is life okay because it has a life force um so what i we're going to do now is to uh purposely do some diaphragmatic breathing okay so what you can do is place one hand on your chest one hand is on your belly, um, right below your ribs, right above your uh, belly button, okay? And you're going to breathe, and when you breathe in, you want to try and direct your breath to your abdomen first. So you want your belly to rise. And then you want your ch then you want to focus um, on filling up your chest. So as soon as your your belly feels as though it's almost full, you don't want to fill it up all the way to max capacity. You want to get it about two thirds or three quarters of the way full, and then you want to go ahead and work on uh, taking the breath to the chest. Okay, so let's take a, a few breaths of diaphragmatic breathing, breathing in through your nose, first letting your diaphragm fill by raising your belly. Three, two thirds to three quarters of the way full, and then your chest. We'll take a few breaths doing just that. Here we go. And out through the mouth. In through your nose, diaphragm, belly goes up, and chest. Okay, and that is um, beginner breath work. So simple, right? Um, the idea of it, though, is that when you direct your breath to your um, abdomen, which is your solar plexus chakra, um, and then to your um, chest or your heart chakra, it's just leading way to being able to direct your breath into your other energy centers or your other chakras, okay? So if you're able to do that, um, well, let me say, if you're not able to do your diaphragmatic breathing or if it comes as a struggle for you, I definitely would suggest you start over with one, starting with being, bringing awareness to your breath, then two, start paying attention to where it goes naturally, and then three, trying to do your diaphragmatic breathing where you breathe first into your belly and then into your chest, okay? So if you're able to do that diaphragmatic breathing with no problems, great. That means you're ready to move on, and we can definitely do that. Um, moving on to, the, I guess, what we could consider the more advanced breath work, we're going to uh, work towards directing our breath to our other chakras, okay? Um, chakras are your energy centers located along your spine, starting with the base of your spine at your coccyx, okay? That's like your tailbone all the way at the bottom. That is your root chakra. Um, just above that is your sacral chakra, just above that is your solar plexus. That is the one that is located right in between the bottom of your ribs and your belly button. And then you have your heart chakra, which is located in the chest. You have your throat chakra. You have your third eye and you have your crown. Now, those are the only ones that we're going to be working with today as far as giving mention to um, because there are other energy centers in the body. Um, they extend out to your limbs, but that's not the, um, we're not that advanced yet, okay? Um, so when we're, oh, and also, I don't want to even get too into chakras. Um, if you're familiar with chakras, great. If not, um, please contact me, and then that can, I could either make that a separate situation, or you could do your own research, because um, there's plenty out there, uh, but definitely it does help to know what it is that I'm referring to when we're we're doing uh, breath work 
okay? Um, so when you're doing your breath work and you're directing your chakra, your breath to these chakras, um, you start at the base, uh, starting with the root, and then you work your way up, okay? And by that, I mean that when you take in your breath, you want to focus on trying to fill that bottom chakra, that root chakra, and then once you can, um, start to feel the energy going on there um then you can maybe move on to the next one but it definitely helps to start with just one at a time okay and so we can do a few where we try and do um direct our breath to our root chakra and if you know you can you feel that then we can move on up okay so the next breath that we're going to take i want you to try and imagine that you are directing your breath to the um your tailbone the, or the base of your spine so it'll be like right at the bottom so when you're sitting if you when you're sitting on your your pelvis it'll be right more towards the back of where you're sitting okay um and so we're going to take a few deep deep breaths and uh, we're just going to direct the breath there yes your lungs are going to fill because that's where the air goes but the breath or the energy that is breath will go towards where you're directing it to okay so we're going to try uh, a few breaths and trying to direct our breath towards our root chakra okay here we go Okay, so if you were able to feel like a little bit of a tingling sensation there, you're on the right track, okay? Um, the next chakra, the sacral chakra, it is located just above the coccyx, below the belly button, so it, ha it has um, associations with your sex organs, and if you do this correctly, the sensation is, it's, it's quite intense, just say the least. Um, directing the breath to that area, yeah, uh, that's a different, <laughs> different topic. We could definitely talk about that too. Um, but definitely when it comes to healing in those, um, I would um, definitely encourage you to um, look into the what's associated with each chakra because a lot of times when we have issues in our lives is because we have blockages in these energy centers and doing this breath work helps to clear those energies like i can't tell you like seriously um we could definitely talk about it you know more on a personal tip or i don't know maybe i might get to be so bold enough to be able to speak with that but from experience i know that um the blockages cause problems okay and that using the breath um intentionally to heal those blockages and clear those block blockages in those areas whew, it's like a breath of fresh air wow okay um all right so that's the sacral chakra we could go ahead and breathe into that but i'm gonna be honest i really don't want this video to be too long so i believe that we're just going to stop here um if there are any questions or if there is any feedback i would very much love to hear it again this is my first time ever doing anything like this i appreciate you being here with me on this journey i am so excited to continue and to see where this goes like i really don't know where this is going but i feel like it's going somewhere like i feel like it's going <laughs>
somewhere, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm just excited, y'all. Like, life is... Life is great. Yeah. Life is great. And I really just want to share that with everybody because I need everybody to know how great it is. Okay, but with that being said, again, thank you. And I look forward to doing this again, y'all, really. Peace.